In this training module, we will go over what a terrain cleanup is and how to edit its shape. Then we will discuss some common use cases. Next, we will cover our break line feature and why it is used. Lastly, we will review how to copy terrain cleanups to other surveys. Welcome to Propeller U. Let's begin. What are terrain cleanups? When calculating earthwork quantities, it might be necessary to remove features like vehicles, stockpiles, or bridges from your terrain model. That's where terrain cleanups can be helpful. Terrain cleanups will allow you to remove features that are impacting the volumetric measurements of your survey. To use the terrain cleanup tool, click the survey tab, turn on the terrain in the map layers, and then click the clean up terrain button. Draw a polygon around the terrain you wish to clean up. To refine the polygon, you can move each point by clicking and dragging it to the desired location. Alternatively, you can input a specific northing and easting for each point. To delete a single point, click the point you want removed, and the option to delete the point will be available in the left-hand menu. To shift the entire polygon to a different location without altering its shape, click the crosshair icon and drag it. To shift only a few points, hold the shift key and select the points of interest, or hold shift and drag a box around the desired points. Selected points can be vertically offset by the same value or be given the same elevation value. Once you are satisfied with the cleanup, hit the save button. If you would like to restart from the beginning, you can select the reset option in the left-hand menu. Click the three dots to the right of a terrain cleanup to disable, edit, rename, or delete a terrain cleanup. All terrain cleanups are organized into a folder called All Cleanups, making them easy to view and manage. Once a terrain cleanup has been added, we can see it has removed a portion of the terrain model, but it's still visible from the ortho photo. At this point, we can make a surface to surface or surface to design measurement of the area without the volume being impacted by the vehicle or object that was removed with the terrain cleanup. Terrain cleanups are especially helpful for landfill sites. Calculating month-to-month -month volumes on a landfill can be tricky. Covering each day's work with a layer of dirt can negatively impact volume calculations. Previously, landfills would need to measure the volume of the pile of dirt used to cover the cell and then manually subtract that at the end of the month. With terrain cleanups, we can quickly draw around the stockpile and edit it out of the terrain model which removes it from the final monthly calculation. Other types of work sites can benefit as well. For example, using our smart filters with terrain cleanups is another great use case. Sometimes, when using our more aggressive filters, some objects, such as tops of stockpiles, may be removed unintentionally. By using a lighter filter in combination with terrain cleanups, we are able to get the best of both. The filter will clean up the majority of objects while using terrain cleanups allows for a more precise application. Sometimes, models just don't look right in specific areas. A common environment where this pops up involves large bodies of water. Because water is notoriously hard to model using photogrammetry due to the constantly changing surface and reflection of light, smoothing these areas out can lead to a better perception of the map. Finally, trees and vegetation are impacted similarly to water. Overgrowth can commonly lead to inconsistencies between surveys. Using the terrain cleanup tool can remove these inconsistencies. Next, let's review break lines and how to copy terrain cleanups to other surveys. When removing a structure like a bridge that is sitting on a slope, using the break line tool can remove the bridge and maintain the major topography surrounding it. Add as many break lines as necessary to capture the detail of the shape for more complex features. To change the elevation of a break line vertex, you can click on a single point just like the original terrain cleanup, and be able to input a northing, easting, and elevation. If the features being removed will exist throughout the project, like a building, copying the terrain cleanup to another survey is an option. To do this, select the three dots to the right of a terrain cleanup and select copy to another data set. If you want to copy all the terrain cleanups from one survey to another, select the three dots to the right of the terrain cleanup folder and select copy to another data set. Finally, you have the option to disable a terrain cleanup if you don't want to delete it entirely, but need to perform some spot checks on your model. To disable a cleanup, 
Expand the folder where you saved your cleanups and find the one you want to disable. Click the three dots to the right of the cleanup and choose Disable Terrain Cleanup. This will gray out the feature alerting you that it is now turned off. To turn it back on, simply click the three dots again and choose Enable Terrain Cleanup. In this module, we covered what a terrain cleanup is and how to edit its shape. Then we reviewed the brake line feature and its use cases. Lastly, we covered how to copy these terrain cleanups to other surveys. Thank you for watching. For more information about terrain cleanups and how to use them, you can check out our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com.